Hey, thanks for tuning in to another video on my Vosteron Firstborn Army. This uh, army is now going under the name of the Vosteron 108. You can actually find that on Instagram if you are feeling particularly excited. Uh, Vosteron underscore 108. When we started this army process about six weeks ago, seven weeks ago now, uh, I knew it would be slow going, but today we've actually reached a kind of fun milestone. We've had the videos about thinking about building the lists, sorting everything into their uh, squads, this is my first painted squad. Now, I haven't done painting for many, many years, and I was absolutely awful when I was a teenager. So I'm really happy with how this has come out. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to just quickly talk about painting of the squad, and then talk about basing a little bit as well. I'm going to have a little chat about just another unit that I've got to add, and uh, my thoughts on the scions that are going to go with the army, because I quite like to include some scions with the army. Now, first of all, painting. So I put up a detailed video on how... I came about the colour scheme and how it came out. Uh, there's a couple of models that were painted in super speed. This is how the squad has come out. Using that same painting process, you can see that the squad has come out looking kind of fine. So, they're actually, I'm really happy how the models have come out. The green, I think, works really well for them uh, on, their, on their coats. Picking up the edging on the armour with the gold, Balthazar gold worked really well too. And the thing about this army that I mentioned in the earlier videos as well is that the whole army is in face masks or respirators. So guys like this one here, and I'm going to put some photos up to show, these came with, uh, these models came with face masks on, with full face visors. Some of the models didn't, some of them had their moustaches. And I wanted to change those models to better represent the whole hostile world they live in. So, one of the chaps that was I was umming and ahhing about was this guy here, which is the officer, because he has an eye exposed. So he's got a respirator on a bionic eye, he's got an eye exposed. I decided to leave him as he was, um, just because with the respirator and the bionic eye, he's pretty hardcore. But for a lot of these other troopers, it was a case of, as you'll see in the earlier video, literally cutting their faces off and being able to pop in a mask for them. So let's just see if he comes into focus. That's good. So like this guy here, this was a mask conversion on a normal mustachio troop. So he was... Um, one that I was most happy with as well is this chap here with his mortar. So he was another one with an open face. It was about half the models had open faces with their moustaches on. So it's been a nice process to do. That's quite long. Obviously the first video we put in detail shows that. But yeah, this has been really good. So this is how the squad has come out looking. I'm really pleased with the squad. I've been talking about armour colour. A couple of people have commented on Reddit and stuff like that about what colour the armour is going to be. So one of my first ideas was to keep it fairly straightforward with something like this, which is a pretty standard drab green. It's not very exciting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up one of the tanks in a kind of white, grey, dirty... UN style paint job just to see what it looks like and see if that sort of offsets the green of their uniforms really well because I think the problem is is everything's a bit similar if you have the green uniforms and all your armour's green too. So that's where we're at with our squad. This is just the first squad that I've painted up uh, and converted. The basing I'm going to go I think for something pretty basic like this which is a Sterling Battlemire paint here. This is one of the uh, Games Workshop Citadel texture paints, uh, which I think has made a really nice really nice base uh, look. And then there's a dry brush of other and grey on top of that, just a very faint dry brush just to pick out the tops of all these little dirty patches. So that's how that looks. That's, I'll do those on all the other bases as well and then see how the squad looks. I know you can get really cool 3D printed bases of uh, walkways factories. Um, a friend of mine at Ashdown Gaming's just started churning those out as well. So there are places where you can get these bases, but I think I'm going to keep this fairly straightforward and simple, uh, just with a, a, a general textured paint uh, for flexibility and uh, not to take away from the troops themselves. Okay, so that's the squad. Just whilst we're here, the next thing I want to just mention is my love of the Scions models. So these are the guys that I have had as part of my list and uh, 
they actually fit quite well with the Vosperin theme because they've got these chest plates uh, with lots of gold being picked out and it's a nice uh, a nice unit to have with the Vosperins because it kind of fits their look. The problem is I really love the old Kazakhin models, these guys here. I'm just going to show onto camera now. So these are the Cadian Stormtroopers, the old uh, metal models. These guys all come with face mask respirators already, like you have with the Scions options of the heads. Um, and I really, I've always loved these models. I've always wanted to have an army of just these guys. Now, I was lucky enough to come across a box of unpainted, unmade Kazakins. So these guys are all in here. There's a full squad. And if you look on the screen, you can see that you've got a couple of special weapons options. You've got a, a sergeant as well who's sat here. And um, just move that out of the way so we have a bit less glare. Yeah, you have your sergeant, you have your special weapons. The problem is, is that these things are like gold dust for the decent special weapons, the plasmas, the melters. You'll pay 20 quid a model on the auction sites for them. Um, I was lucky. I picked up the flamer and the grenade launcher for for a tenor, which was perfect. Um, but yeah, so if I wanted to run these seriously, I'd need to get some plasma as well. If I was going to have the command squad that you can have with the scions and... Uh, that might be a bit too expensive for me at the moment. But anyway, I've got these guys if I want to paint them up, find a nice paint job, something similar to the Fosterians I've got so far, but different enough to really stand out and show them as the stormtroopers, the elite troopers they are. The only other model that I really wanted to mention, when I was doing the list building in one of the last videos, at the end I showed all the support units. One of the things that I got as a centrepiece for the army was a Valdor Tank Hunter, which is a really cool model, Forge World model. And it turned up and I thought this is really lovely. And actually, I fell in love with it so much that I decided to sell another couple of units, of the army units, and pick up one of these. So this is a Malkador Defender, which is another of the sort of 30k variant. So it's very old school, fits in really well with the whole Vosterian theme and passing things down through generations. This has seven heavy bolters and a demolisher cannon all the way around. It's a bit of a beast. It's a real sort of powerhouse. And this, alongside the Valdor, give a really nice image, a really nice look to the army. And it gives it that feel of uh, an army still a little bit stuck in the Dark Ages uh, from the Grimdark uh, meta. So that's the video today. If you like what you see with the videos I'm doing in the army building, please do like and subscribe, uh, and then you'll see the new videos when they come out. You don't have to share anything, it's nice if you do. Uh, or check me out on Instagram and have a look, Vosteron underscore 108. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.